The time axis in one pager is completely customizable. To make changes to the time axis, go to Home, Chart Properties, Time Axis. Notice that there are five sub-tabs across the top. The Calendar sub-tab controls your time axis boundaries so that you can add or remove time from the beginning or end of your chart by adjusting your start and finish dates. This is also where you can configure your fiscal year. Make sure that you pick the correct first month of your fiscal year, as this is what one pager uses to calculate your fiscal calendar. The Calendar sub-tab also controls whether the time axis appears at the top or bottom of your chart and enables you to define a custom date format if you need something that isn't built into one pager already. The sub-tabs for each level of the time axis, the top, middle, and bottom, are next. To enable a particular time axis level, click the sub-tab and ensure that the Show This Level box is checked. Next, pick a unit for the time axis level. Here, we've picked years. Once the unit is selected, pick a label format for those units. For example, you could choose a two-digit year or a four-digit year. If you don't see your desired date format in the list, this is where you can define your own custom date format. By the way, if you defined fiscal years on the calendar sub-tab, you'll need to check the Use Fiscal Year checkbox before selecting your label format in order for that fiscal year format to correctly reflect on a given level of the time axis. Once the basics are established, you can configure more formatting options such as the font, grid lines, cell background colors, and height. Each of the three time axis levels can have its own custom format based on the settings you choose on each sub-tab. The Format sub-tab includes a number of advanced time axis features. First, this is where you can choose to show, hide, or shade certain days of the week. This is especially useful if you would like to shade weekends a different color or hide them altogether. To shade a certain weekday in a custom color, simply choose a color from the drop-down that's associated with that day of the week. To hide days of the week completely, uncheck the box next to the days that you don't want to show. Along the same lines, you can define working hours. Based on how working hours are set up in your chart, you can choose to highlight or hide non-working time. To highlight non-working time, pick a color from the drop-down. To hide non-working time completely, uncheck this box. Here is an example of a chart with weekends shaded, and here is that same chart with all non-working time shaded so that you can see when no work is taking place. At the bottom of the Format sub-tab, there is a grid that lets you define curtains and time spans. A curtain is a shaded portion of your chart. We can add a curtain to shade the entire month of June in a light blue color. A time span, on the other hand, is a stretched or zoomed portion of your time axis. We can apply a time span to the same month of June to make it twice as big by setting its zoom factor to 200%. Now, June is not only shaded blue, but it's also twice the size of all of the other months in the same year, enabling us to see June's activity in greater detail. OnePager's patented non-linear time axis enables you to add focus to a particular section of your schedule. The non-linear time axis means that you can zoom into certain portions of your project while zooming out on others. You can set up a non-linear time axis in the time spans grid of the chart properties form that we demonstrated earlier, or by simply selecting a time axis cell and dragging it to make it larger or smaller. You can even right-click on a time axis cell to hide it from view. In addition to changing the size of selected time axis cells, OnePager also enables you to change the formatting. Here, we can hold down the control key on the keyboard and grab a few time axis cells 
and then change their background color and font. These custom formatting changes will override any default Time Axis cell formats that may have previously been defined through chart properties. You can also create a floating Time Axis anywhere in the chart by right clicking in Whitespace and choosing the Floating Time Axis option. Any of the three Time Axis levels can float in the body of the chart. For more information, please review our other videos, or you can visit onepager.com forward slash support, or email us at support at onepager.com.